Emma Hardy. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I think all of us here have had those moments when the injustice of what we see continues to haunt us ever after. And last October, I had such experience. I visited the vascular service at Hull Royal Infirmary, and I spoke to NHS staff, amputee patients with vascular disease, and their families. Now, if you don't know much about vascular disease, forgive me while I just explain briefly. This disease results from the build-up of fatty deposits in people's arteries, which interrupts the flow of blood around the body. And when you have vascular disease in your legs, it causes pain, muscle wastage, and the dead leg tissue can leave unhealable wounds that become ulcers. My horror at learning of the pain of vascular disease patients suffer as the tissue in their legs slowly dies through lack of oxygenated blood cannot be understated. And I'll briefly mention that when I was younger, someone very close to me <laughs> suffered the same such disease and amputation. And I grew up seeing the suffering not only from that patient, but also their loved ones and family around them. And during my visit to the hospital, I was shown images of the foot ulcers. And the surgeon explains this phrase, which has stayed in my mind ever since. The phrase is, time is tissue as he explained that the development of a foot ulcer from something so very, very small into needing an amputation can be as short as 48 hours. Wow. This horror was only increased when I learned of the north-south divide, with major amputation rates being 30% higher in the north of England compared to the south. And the situation in Hull is even worse. Overall, people in Hull are more likely by 46% to need a major amputation and 16% more likely to need a partial amputation compared to the All England average. Now, the staff at the Hull Royal Infirmary are incredible, hard working, dedicated, and I am in awe of the work they do, and particularly like to mention Dr. Dan Caradis and the work his department does on this disease. But they are fighting vascular disease with their hands tied behind their backs, battling staffing shortages, increased demand for for services, funding restraints, and without the updated critical equipment and facilities that they need. It cannot be right that vascular disease patients living in Scotland have access to more advanced equipment than the people living in England. We are at a critical junction. The government needs to take action and needs to take action very quickly. So in my brief speech, I have two very simple asks. The first is for every member in this Parliament. And that is, I'm very proud to be taking over the chair of the Vascular and Venous Disease All-Party Parliamentary Group from my right honourable friend, <coughs> the Member for St Ives. And I invite members from across the House to please come and join this All-Party Group. Find out about this disease. Find out about how it impacts on the constituents in your, in your area. And then together, we can make the strongest possible case to Government for more funding and a better staffing plan to deal with this crisis. And my second ask is for the Minister himself to agree to meet with me and Dr Dan Caradis to discuss the particular challenges at Hull Royal Infirmary, the workforce requirements, equipment and funding needed to prevent the crisis in vascular disease becoming even deeper. The Government must make this an urgent priority because, as the doctor said, time is tissue and we must act before it is too late. Yeah. Yeah.